Last run done. I'm sure my face is absolutely bright red right now. This is where we started five weeks ago when we first got to Mexico. And this is all the runs we've done since then. Today's the day for that final run in Mexico City. My final run at 7200 elevation. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited to, uh, to see what it's like back on normal elevation. Hopefully better, hopefully, you know, pushing myself through this 7,200 feet does help in the long run for that half marathon in I think just about five weeks. Today's run is gonna be seven miles, gonna try to push myself, hopefully get around something in like this 720 to 730 pace per mile, um, but we'll see. I've got this weird like blood blister. Sorry if you guys hate feet, by the way. But right here, there's like this blood blister that I'm just hoping it doesn't get any worse, but it's like right on the pad of my foot where I have this callus built up. But then right here, there's like this blood blister that I got on yesterday's like little, you know, four mile just recovery run, just casual pace. So I'm hoping it doesn't get worse during this run today, but you know, we'll, we'll get through it regardless. So since this is the last run and my hair is going everywhere, I really need a, really need a haircut. We want hat on. Since this is my last run at high elevation, um, I thought it'd be a good video just to kind of talk about my experiences so far. So five weeks ago, I came to Mexico City, um, coming from Pennsylvania, where I think the elevation is around like five or six hundred feet above sea level. Moving up to seventy-two hundred feet um, above sea level here in Mexico City, which is um, yeah, it's big. It's it's really high and it's really noticeable. And the first night I was here, I went for a run. And I noticed it right away. I think I ran like an 8:30 pace, and like it felt like I was running like sub seven or something. Like it was, it was crazy. And then progressively, like each run got a little bit better. But I would say it took like a solid three weeks for me to feel comfortable um, at this elevation. And I remember the specific run. It was on my Sunday long run, and I think I did around like a 7:35 pace. And it was that run three, like literally, I guess just about three weeks. Um, where I was like, yeah, okay, like I think I've got this down now. I think I feel comfortable. Um, now, you know, the past like two weeks, I haven't really noticed it at all. Like it just feels, it just feels normal. Um, but we'll see like when I go back down to low elevation, if the training up here makes a difference. And you know, it's not like I came here to do high elevation training. That was obviously not the case at all. I was coming here to explore the food and all of those different things. And you know, the 7,200 feet was just a, a little side thing that happened to happen. But overall, hopefully, you know, this build up my like cardiovascular and it hopefully it gives me a lot of benefit when I get back, um, back in PA in just two days. We've got a long run coming up on Sunday. It's going to be the longest of training, 10 miles. Um, but first we got to get today's final run in Mexico City out of the way. So seven miles, uh, guys, we'll meet you right back here just to give you a quick update. And then I've also got some cool Mexico City videos planned that I've got everything filmed, I just need to edit it over the next like two or three days, so definitely be on the lookout for that if you want some more Mexico City content. But let me go get this run in, and I'll meet you guys back here. Last run done. I'm sure my face is absolutely bright red right now. Um, run went good. Pretty happy with how um, how that last one ran at last run went at uh, in Mexico. Sun was shining. Legs were moving. Um, there was one mile out of the seven. I'll show it right now. Let me let me take my shoes off and I'll get the uh, I'll get the run up on screen for you guys. So as you can see, um, 719 pace, was really happy with that. Um, there was honestly one mile in here where it kind of screwed up that pace for most of the run. I think I was around like 713 or 714. 
Um, and then let's actually check the splits. Yeah, so started out of the gates hot, 724, then 710, 709, 711. And like I said, I was I was feeling really good. And then mile five, so you see 748 there, and you might have think that I was like feeling bad at that point, but I actually wasn't. Um, sometimes I feel like when I'm running, um, at the first four miles, like I was really, really locked in. And then that fifth mile, I remember I kind of let my mind wander. Um, I didn't check my watch. I thought I was still moving at a good pace. Um, and then when the mile five hit and it gave me the, the, the time, I was like, whoa, I was going much, much slower than I thought. Um, so that's something I gotta work on is really trying to keep focused in um, the entire time. Um, because like I said, like 748, like I thought I was moving fast. Like I, it, I didn't feel like I was tired at that point. It was just like, I let my mind wander. And just like that, you know, 30 seconds off my, you know, the previous mile. But then after that, obviously dialed it back down 722. And then the seventh mile, I just wanted to finish the strongest I could finish, um, 706. So super happy with that to, to end it off. And I still think the most interesting thing about running at um, high elevation is, is the heart rate thing. So if you look at this, like mostly I was between like 165 to 170s, you know, into the maybe the mid 170s when I was going at those little faster paces. Um, now if we compare this to my very first run in Mexico City, so five weeks ago, five weeks ago ran three miles at an 815 pace and my heart rate was 182. 182. Like that's absolutely ridiculous. So today I went basically a minute faster for four more miles and my heart rate was, you know, like 10 to 15 beats lower per minute. Like that's that's just like crazy to me. And then a couple big things that I need to work on over these next three weeks. So the next three weeks of training, these are really like the biggest weeks, the highest volume, um, the hardest weeks of training. You know, I've got 10, 11, 12 mile runs all coming up. And some things that I need to really dial in when I get back is my diet. Obviously here, I'm pretty much eating out every single day um, for most meals. And you know, while it's all delicious, it's not necessarily the best for my you know body. I'd really want to eat be eating more vegetables um, and higher carb sources, so I am getting plenty of carbs here, but a lot of it's like tortillas and breads. Um, I wanna be getting some, you know, like complex carbs, oatmeal, sweet potatoes, fresh veggies, a lot of that stuff that I'm, I'm really not incorporating into my diet right now, just because of what's available. Um, and then obviously for recovery, I really need to start doing like foam rolling. I'm gonna start working on some ice baths and things of that nature just to make sure my legs are as fresh as possible as we're going into these really high volume weeks. So once I get back, really gonna hit those hard. We'll probably have some videos on what I'm doing um, around and, and what those different routines are, what my you know pre-stretching, post-stretching recovery is gonna look like, and then also those additional like speed work, like I said, that I'm gonna be wanting to work in. Um, all in all though, really successful five weeks. Um, I remember the first day that I came here, like that first run, I was like, all over my head, I was like, dude, this is gonna absolutely suck for five weeks. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Like, if I'm gonna, if, you know, if, if, if I'm running like 815 paces, like how in the world am I gonna, you know, how's this gonna translate to me getting faster with a seven minute mile um, half marathon? But I mean, as we can see, I've made big strides in five weeks with this elevation. And I know that it's gonna translate into better runs once I get back to a low elevation um, in the next couple days. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying, and like I said, more Mexico content on the way too. So I've got two kind of final videos planned. Um, one is my impressions after 35 days. So if you guys saw my earlier video, um, just about my first impressions, I'm kind of making a follow-up to that after 35 days. And then also just a little, a little short video, um, just saying, you know, thank you to Mexico City for my time here. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm gonna go eat some good food on this last day, pack up, and then tomorrow, it's back to the United States. See you guys, peace.